okigirlblingandthings.com and today I'm going to do a quick little video tutorial and show y'all how to make these cute little kitchen scrubbies. So these are made with a scrubby yarn and I'll show you the yarn I'm using the label here in a minute. It's made with this super neat um, scrubby textured yarn that you can use in the kitchen for doing dishes and stuff and it's a really neat texture and it's not bad to crochet with. Some people might think it might be a little bit rough on your hands. It's really not that hard to crochet with. And it works up nice and neat and it doesn't like hurt your hands. But yeah, it's got that little bit of scrubby texture from doing dishes and stuff. And I used a special stitch to make these called the thermal stitch. And if you don't know what that stitch is, I have a complete tutorial uh, for that stitch on my blog and here on my YouTube channel if you'd like to watch the full video on the thermal stitch but I'm going to show you how to do everything from start to finish also in this tutorial too. Okay so I chose these fun and bright colors to make my kitchen scrubbies. It comes in this yarn comes in an array of different colors um, if you look and I chose these four bright fun colors to use. Um, the yarn is called uh, Yarn Bee. It comes from Hobby Lobby. It is their scrub algae scrub it yarn. This one is of course the red and um it is made out of 100 percent nylon and you can see this texture here of it on the roll went to the skein of what it looks like it's got this little bit of almost shimmer sparkle to it but that's the scrubby stuff and it's a really neat fun yarn and i've enjoyed working with it so far and we'll just jump right in and i'll show y'all how to make these little scrubbies so for this pattern with the scrubby yarn, I am also using a um, size J or 6 millimeter hook, which is the hook that I suggested to use with this size of yarn. So to get started, I am just going to take my scrubby yarn and I'm going to make a slip knot. So to make a slip knot, I will grab the tail of the yarn and wrap around my fingers twice. Grab the back loop, pull over the front, grab the back, pull over the front, and then grab it. And that's how you make a slip knot. So if you know how to single crochet, this is going to be pretty simple to do um, making the scrub because it's basically a special form. The thermal stitch is basically a special form of single crochet. So if you can single crochet, you can make this scrubby. So to get started, I'm going to chain 10 stitches. And of course, you could make them bigger, smaller, and add more stitches, take away, and make them as big or small as you like, depending on what size of scrubby you want. This, to me, is the perfect size to hold in a scrub, a pot, or pan, or dish, and this is the size I like, so this is what I'm going to do. If you want them a little bit bigger, be sh feel free to add a few more stitches and make them a little bit larger. So, for the first row, in the second stitch from our hook, right here, we're going to work a single crochet. Insert your hook, pull up loop. Two loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through both loops. That's a single crochet. Next stitch, insert your hook, pull the loop, two loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through both. So that's a single crochet. I want to work a single crochet in every stitch down this row. When you finish row one, you should have a total of nine stitches, like so. So for row two, you will simply chain one, turn your work, and here's going to be where the thermal stitch is going to start to kind of take place. So if you look here in this very first stitch, for a regular stitch, we do a regular single crochet, you would typically go under both loops. But for this certain stitch, you're only going to go in the back loop. We're not going to work in the front loop right now. We're just going to go into this back loop back here, the, stip, the loop farthest from you, and work in it. So I'm going to insert my hook in that back loop, pull it up, two stitches on the hook, and finish my single crochet. So I'm going to simply work a single crochet in each back loop of a stitch of cross. So just in the back loop only. Next one, back loop. More yarn here. 
so like I said, if you can single crochet, you can make these little scrap beads. The back loop only. Yeah, that's how easy that is. And the more we get going on this, it'll start to straighten out and lay uh, out flat. And it won't curl up so much. Okay, so once you finish that, you should still have nine stitches. And this is what it'll look like on this side. You will have these, you can see here, the front loops that have not been worked in, that they are there. And from the back side, that's what it looks like. So what we're going to do for row three is we're simply going to chain one and turn. And we're going to kind of do what we just did in the previous row. We're going to only work up in the back loop of this top stitch. So we're going to insert a hook in the back loop, but we're going to go ahead and go on down and go through this front loop of the previous row and go through it too. I'm trying to hold this so you can see. And we're going to go ahead and insert a hook in that loop also. Pull up your yarn, two loops on hook, like a seal crochet, pull through. So that is basically how you crochet a thermal stitch. It's like making two rows at the same time. So the next one, I'm going to insert my hook into the back loop. Find the loop, the front loop from the previous row down below, and insert my hook in it too. And pull up the loop. Two loops and hook, pull through. And I can even zoom this in a little bit so y'all can see maybe even a little better if y'all'd like to. So, holding it here. Back loop, front loop for the previous round, insert, pull up. There we go. Back loop, front loop from the previous round, pull through. Back loop, front loop from the previous row, pull through. And that is basically all there is. And you'll finish that down this row. When you get to the last stitch, just make sure you go through both loops. They seem like they're a little bit closer on the very last stitch because there's the back loop and then there's the front loop. If you can see this right there, and there's the front loop. So basically, that's all you're going to do. Here, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. That's basically all you're going to do is repeat that till you have 16 rows. So to start the next row again, we'll chain one, turn, back loop, and the front loop of the previous row. Go again. Back loop, front loop of the previous row. Then work a single crochet. And that is basically all you'll do. You'll repeat that till you have 16 rows. And then cut your yarn and weave your end, and it'll look like this. So that's all there is to making these cute little scrubbies. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, be sure to click subscribe and check out my YouTube tutorial for free crochet stitches and other pattern tutorials. And happy crochet, guys.